while the chapel in the woods was being built, Bill Naylor was fighting World War II, and getting married was no easy feat. Even getting a trousseau together was terrible because you had to have ration coupons for shoes. This Sunday, the Naylors will join many other couples who've been married here to renew their vows in one large ceremony. It's the brainchild of Chaplain Gordon Garthy, and he and his wife, Jean, will be a part of it. But unlike most couples who keep pictures as wedding mementos, the Garthys keep a carpet square. It's special in that we'll be not only participating in a vow renewal in the same chapel where we were married, along with many, many other people, but uh, we'll actually be able to participate in that ourselves. Chaplain Snyder will be conducting that portion of the service. Dale and Janiel Meyer were married here in 1962 with all the military trappings. But when the ceremony was over, Dale's squadron decided there was still some celebrating to do. His whole squadron. The came. whole squadron His showed up on your wedding night? Probably 30 plus. At the motel, and they did come in. <laughs> so we had another party. <laughs> Irene Beecham didn't know a soul when she arrived in Norfolk on a bus in 1951. Two days later, she married Marcel after a courtship that broke all the rules. He sent me a diamond through the mail. We got engaged through the mail. We had our first date a year after we were engaged. They may have put the cart before the horse, but it's lasted 30 years, and Sunday ceremony is a milestone. And I think we'll make it legal now. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Mitkiff, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.